Cena, Red Hot Princess, and look what finally came! Order number one. This is the big one. So, Erin Condren, here we go. Um, yeah, I'm really excited about this because I want to start planning and start putting these stickers to good use, you know? Okay. Yay! Oh, look, pretty. Yeah, I already have that. Okay. Let's just take the whole thing out. And we'll put the box down here. It is pretty. I like their little tissue paper. Yay! Okay! I don't even know where to start. Let's just start. Um, let's start with this, because I don't know what this is. Oh, yes, I do now that I see it. Okay, so I got the petite planners. I think I said that already, but petite planners with the folio and some accessories to go with them. Um, but the first thing, this one, I did get personalized um, with my name. Yeah, and so it came in just a little, very thin sort of fabric. I think this could actually be useful later to store things or whatever. I don't know. We'll see. But this one, ta-da! So it's the starry one, and then it says Zena, because that's me. I just thought that would be fun. These are actually thicker than I expected. I, I quite like it, actually, but... Okay, personalize and customize. Oh, it just tells you how to put your notebooks in there. So there are four strings, indeed. I'm, I'm not, some are longer than others. I don't, I guess they're all uh, connected. So you just have to figure out the looping mechanism. But there you go. So I will put some in there in a moment. Um, but the other folio that I got was the Wonder Woman. You know, how cool is that? I also kind of um, chose this one, not just because of Wonder Woman, who I used to adore as a kid. Um, don't mind my sweating. I literally just got home from running around. I had a doctor's appointment. And this was on my porch, so I could not wait. I sort of sat straight away, and here we go. Um, so yeah, so the Wonder Woman has like the Wonder Woman with the star, and it's golden, metallic really cool but I also kind of thought besides loving Wonder Woman and whatever that I thought they kind of matched sort of kind of I mean gold with gold whatever I did not personalize it totally not necessary everybody knows Zena's a Wonder Woman <laughs> um, but yeah so pretty much the same just the basic bands inside so I'll set those aside for a moment oh my gosh now I'm sweating now that I've stopped moving and then we got all of these journals okay that's packing so first we got, what says happy birthday to from, oh this is a gift. Thanks for your first order, hello and welcome. Enjoy these free gift labels in two sizes. Come back to personalize your own at erincondren.com. Yeah. Okay, so it's just, you know, like gift labels, but in Erin Condren designs. Okay, I know what this is. And I did get two. Um, this is the on the go folio insert organizer. Uh, so that you put this in in here and you just, it goes, oh, I can unwrap it. Let's just do it right now because that's where it's going to go. So it gives you some pockets without having to put the sticky pockets on the folio and you can reuse these like if you change to a different folio or something, then you can move the pocket. So it, that's nice. If of course, if I can unwrap it, it doesn't want to come out of the plastic. Get out! There we go. You just have to yell at it. Okay. So on the one side, it has like um, sort of an envelope, essentially. So you can put stickers or whatever in there. And on the other side, it's side entry. There's there's four sections, two small ones here in the middle and then two bigger ones. So you could put business cards, a pen, well, I don't know, I guess I wouldn't put a pen that way, but whatever, you could put stuff in there. So I'm going to just insert this right away. I am so excited. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. So this is what it looks like. So it's like an inner cover, you know, inside your thing. Yeah, so there's one of them. And here's the other one. 
And don't worry, I'm not gonna set everything all up, every detail. We can come back and relook at some of the setup and design stuff later. But this is a simple thing I can just throw right in there right away. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me, tickle my throat. Cause I'm thirsty. All right. So I need to readjust these stretchy things cause they're not set right. But there we go. So one for each folio for a start. So that's that was my start. And of course, each of these has like a traveler journal thing that you put over. And I did get something to make my own charm for that. Then we got two sets of magnet page markers. Um, the one is colorful, so this is the dual sides of me. You've got the neutrals and the, the brighter colors. The colored ones have a couple of notes. One says plan on it and one says today. You can use them however you want. They are blank on the back side, so whatever. Um, but these are skinnier than I thought they were, but actually I like that they are. And so we'll see how we incorporate those as we go forward. Now, let me just real quick line these up. Daily, and then we'll go through them. Okay, yes, this is what I remember. So, two folios, two plans. Here is what we've got. These folios each fit four planners. So I bought two folios, guess what? I bought eight planners. These may get um, changed around a little bit how I stack them on any given day, we shall see. But this was my thought process. One of these, um, and I, I really think this one, because this is the, the pretty one, this was my first choice, will be my calendar. So I have here four pieces to go in there. I've got a monthly customizable calendar, 12 month undated. And I got the undated because I do currently have a calendar and I wanted to be able to use these um, starting and ending when I wanted. And well, anyways, I just thought, I thought that made sense. So I got two of them because I do plan a little bit farther out for all my cruises and trips and adventures. So I got two years worth. I probably will ad adapt that and get a third. We shall see. But for the moment, I have two of those. And then I have two of the daily customizable agenda, 75 undated daily spreads. Again, I got the undated because I'm not a big daily person or weekly necessarily. So I thought that this would give me max coverage options. And really cool, they actually match, super pretty. I mean, not the color, but the design. So let's open these up, at least one of each, and take a look. I, I want to get into this whole planning thing, so I went full bore. And I do kind of like the dailies because I've started writing a lot of to-do notes in my calendar, which now this gives me actual proper space to do that on a daily basis or whatever, weekly, whatever. Okay, so the monthly one, it looks very nice. So first thing, you have your normal entry page. And then there's a couple quotes. Everything you know has once was once unknown. Make room for good things to begin. Then there's a note page. Okay, it takes a while to get to the first calendar. So about the fifth page, you get your first monthly spread. So that's what it looks like, in case you're wondering, because I was kind of wondering. But what I didn't buy in all of these purchases was numbers for the dots, for the dates. I think I'm just going to use pen. We shall see. Because um, that's just a lot of stickers. Yeah, we, we'll see. I might go back and buy some of those. Um, yeah, we'll see. But I liked it, they're little circles. And there's a note page, a quote page, and the next month. So let me see, I think that's the trend. Note page, so what I'm looking at. So here's the monthly spread, note page, quote page, monthly spread. I like that, not a lot of wasted paper, a little bit, but yeah, so that'd be great. Oh. I forgot, all the journals do come with one sticker page. 
So this does too, no exception, and it, it's matching the colors of the journal. It's not numbers though. It's just basic, basic calendar stuff, which is fine, but I need more. Let's see what this one is. So the pink one, just the same, has a matching pink. So, okay. So those are great. Um, oh, let's look at this one, sorry. So you get a few pages in before you get the first daily spread. And I think this is two days. Wait, is that right? One day, two day. I think that's how it works. Well, that's how I'm gonna use it anyways. I can see this right away. I think it's one day per page, so like one day here and one day here. So that's two days at a glance, I think. And anyways, that's what I'm gonna do because I can I can definitely fit that into my plan. So that is the calendar ones, and those will go in the Xena folio, and that fits quite nicely. So that's great. Okay. The other folio, my thought process is, well, that's good for dates and general planning and to-do lists. I know that's all kind of tied in, but then I had some specialty journals. One, I have a wellness log. I did get um, a second one. I got actually two or three of them now for backup because they're about six months at a time. I plan to be tracking a little longer. I have a large weight loss goal. So anyways... Um, the one I'm currently using is right here. I do have it in its own protective cover for the moment. Um, so when this one is done, then I will move to the next one. Um, so that's that plan. So that replaces one of these. Then I have the travel journal. Because I travel, that's what I do. And I did get, um, I did put some of these on my wish list or my shopping list in Amazon as well. Um, because it doesn't, well, I think that it won't accommodate enough of my trips because it's sort of limited because there's a lot of details to any given trip, but I think it's not that many trips, but let's look at what we have. First of all, we have stickers. Yay. Travel stickers are always fun. So we got that. And I do love this cover, like with the global colors. It says, always take the scenic route. Yeah, travel journal. So let's see what we got inside this one. So reservation and to-dos, a packing list, and that's divided up essentials, clothing, toiletries, tech, and other. Um, I don't know that I would need to subdivide like that, but week before, day before. So this is like getting ready for the trip. Places to visit for landmarks, entertainment, shops, and restaurants. So you have four, you know, just listed out. Your itinerary you can put in here. See, this would work really great for my cruises. That's the primary reason I got it. And I may even backlog my epic adventure from last year, where I did five in a row, five cruises in a row, 57 days on the same ship. And I really want to remember that trip. It really was epic. We did... Um, Mediterranean, Greek Isles, Transatlantic, Cozumel, and then Panama Canal. So it was a lot. It was a global, global thing. Um, daily adventures. So it has like for the day, favorite moment from today, um, expenses. And then that repeats. So that's one day, two day, three day, four day, five day. Six day, seven day. So it's each seven day adventures. So that's what the daily page looks like. Um, yeah, so I like that, but you know, each cruise was about two weeks, except for the Cosmel. So that's okay. It can spread, you know, and obviously I don't need to repack. You could just decorate that page in between with something else. Um, but my weekly itineraries, I'm not going to track some of the expenses so I can have some fun with other stuff there. And it does change. So the first one is like a red, wait, where's the first one? Yeah, so the first one is like a red color. The, the second trip, because it's multiple trips, obviously, is a pink one. Then there's a blue one. And I think in between there's a green one. 
Yeah, so they are kind of kind of divided. I would put some kind of tab on there to see. But travel journal, that's one. So wellness journal, travel journal, meal planner. Now, I'm not good about meal planning. I'm like, what am I in the mood for? And choose wisely from whatever you have that's smart for your diet or for general health or what's available in your cabinet or your fridge, you know. So I'm really bad about meal planning, but I'm getting really good at it now because I need to make better, <laughs> make better decisions. But it is super cute little journal. So it's it's doesn't have any fancy quote on it like all the other ones, but it just says yum. It does feel thicker. Um, stickers wise, you got cute food stickers and food related stickers. Um, don't forget you've got this. Eh. Okay, so let's look at this. This one has weekly. So there's your days of the week, breakfast, lunch, dinner. And then on the side you have shopping list, meal prep strategy. Hmm. Yeah, well, the good and the bad of this is I'm not taking my book to the store and using that shopping list there. It would be good for planning, but then I have to still translate back to a shopping list. So maybe what I would do is put my menu choices here. Like, let's say I'm going to have um, air fried chicken, whatever. And what do I need? Well, I need spices. I need whatever. What do I have? Make the plan. I don't know. I, I have to figure it out. This could have a lot of utility though, but it's not gonna be an every week thing. But that's what it is. It's just page after page, just exactly like that, which is great. I think I could put this to use, maybe not quite as intended, but. The last one is the medical journal, medical treatment log. Yeah, I'm not doing a treatment. I don't have cancer or anything like that, but I do have a lot of medical issues. So I'm, yeah, we're not gonna get into that on this video, but this says, you've got this. Um, I just thought this might be a good way to track um, all my myriad of appointments with different specialists, track some of your history, um, different things like that. So it has some pages in here for sure I already know I'm not gonna use. Um, but let's look at what it has, because I'm very curious about this. I, I like the color of it, it actually matches my other journal, but. I like the inside cover, I'm all about the rainbow. And the stickers are generic planning ones, but in fun colors to kind of coordinate. And it says, I am more than my diagnosis. I'll tell you that is the truth. I have cyclic vomiting, cyclic vomiting does not have me. So I totally buy into that, that is great. And that quote is just right on, right on the cover page. Um, okay, so it says, the diagnosis, so this is like one condition listed. It says diagnosis date, your doctors, the characteristics and type, tests needed, multiple squares and then a blank square, treatment options, pros, cons. Okay, so there's multiple, one, two, three, four, four, pa four single pages for each treatment option. So I would do that a little differently or tailor it differently treatment plan chosen doctor yeah. uh so there's one two of those so i guess it gives you it kind of walks you through there's four treatment options two treatment plans and then you have blank notes with lines then you have a pre-surgery checklist so okay maybe this isn't the journal for me after all surgery recap Medical info, and this is where I was thinking I would make my money on this journal, is just like, just log in your info. Like, okay, you can have this elsewhere. I have a ICE thing on my phone, for example. But it's date of birth, blood type, medical conditions, allergies, insurance, provider, um, emergency contact, partner, family members, uh, medical team, so this is where, this is the other, you know, list all my doctors, so their contact info. And there's multiple pages for that, which is great because I have a lot. Then it goes into um, like uh, questions for when you go to the doctor. Now I always take a written list of questions 
because I always have questions. I, mean, I was pre-med and I really am very thoughtful and but I always have questions and I don't leave until I get them answered. So be your own best advocate. That is my advice on that. And I truly, on a side note, I truly believe in collaborative medicine. That's my name for it. That's what I call it. And what that is, is you as the patient need to do your very best to help the doctor help you. So whatever the issue, whatever the doctor type, um, that's your job as the patient. You don't just walk in there and get spoon fed a solution and here, take these meds and the world gets better. That may happen, but, but really, this is great. I don't, I won't probably use my journal for that. I'll use those spots for something else, but do, do, do be your bed, be your own best advocate. Anyway, there's a bunch of pages for that. Medication log. So there is two pages here. Let me see if there's more. <laughs> yeah, no, there's just two pages. That's plenty, that's a lot of lines. So even if you delete one and then add another, it's fine. I actually have um, an Excel spreadsheet that I use mine and it's all color coded. Like green is what I take every day, yellow is the stuff that I added for supplements, and then the red is just the PRN that I take as needed. Anyway, you can do it manually in here. I don't think I'll transcribe it uh, since I have the other sheet in my wallet. Medical results, tests, labs, imaging, scans, dates, and results. That might be very helpful for like if you have x-rays and ongoing things like from, yeah, I could totally use that. Just to look back and when the, you're in seeing a different specialist that you didn't think it would come up and be like, hey, uh, when was your last uh, colonoscopy? Yeah, well, I kind of, I know I'm current, but what was the date? Well, it's right there. So there you go. Expense log, yeah, I'm gonna skip right over that. Support log, you can put your name, gift support and thank you sent. So it's just tracking to give back to your givers, caregivers. Lots of support log. Couple of quotes in the middle. Appointment logs. This again is why I bought it. So there's a lot of, this is probably 50-50 for me for stuff I would use and like and stuff that I wouldn't necessarily use that way. But appointment log, again, I do this. I take notes like today, I have the date, I have my questions and then I have my notes from the visit coming out of it. Um, so that's exactly what this would do. And there's a bunch of those. So that hopefully, yes, good. That is the meat of the journal. So half of it is appointment logs, half of it is all that other stuff. So I was very curious about this one. I hope that helped explain it to some of you who maybe also were curious. Um, yeah, so we'll see about that. But for sure the other ones will get used in, in a very thing and these will go in the Wonder Woman because these are all the things that make me wonder. All right, so that is the two journals and all the rest. I'm, I mean, the, the two folios and all the journals. We'll come back again more soon once I start getting this all put together and start decorating and start figuring out some of those question marks. But at least now it's here and the fun can really begin. And I'd love to hear all your ideas and suggestions and recommendations. And we will see you again soon. Take care, be well, be happy, be good to each other, and don't forget to washi washi. Bye for now.